Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am coming at you very warm. It is very, very hot. Right now it's 82 degrees. Um, I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but for me it is. Um, but I wanted to show you guys what I got in my boxy charm. Um, I do these videos every month and I say the same thing that um, I think that only the base box is worth it. And I still feel that way. Um, I do like the add-ons and like the drop shops. I did not buy anything from this most recent drop shop though, I will say that. But I'll show you the options that I picked and what they picked for me. So um, now, um, since Ipsy and BoxyCharm have merged, you can see your products ahead of time. So there's no surprise anymore. And I don't know, I kind of like that, I kind of don't. Um, I did enjoy like kind of pulling the products from my BoxyCharm and seeing what, um, what the surprise was. I also, um, I think I said this last time, I do not like how they don't talk about the products in the insert. It is on the app, I do understand that. And that's where I got this information, but I miss the card. Now it's just like a little newsletter thing um, that I have never really read. So it just kind of tells you when the, sh when the drop shop starts, um, what like their brand focus is. I guess it's Smashbox this time. Um, and they just do like events in the app based off of, based off of that, um, chosen brand. So let's go ahead and get started. I really hope my, my camera is like not propped up correctly. So we'll see how this goes. Let's start with the things that I chose. So I was able to choose, um, three of the items. So the first thing I chose was from Verb. This is the Ghost Exfoliating Scalp Nectar. So this is a serum you put on your scalp that will help with exfoliating, um, hydration and helps the just like product build up. I have two um, rows of weft extensions, like sewn in extensions. So this is this is great. Um, I used this the other day and it's just kind of like a squeeze tube, which has like a little, little nozzle on the top. So it's easy for me to get in between the wefts with this product. I left it on for maybe about half an hour. It says 10 minutes, um, but it's got AHAs, PHAs. If you have like a really sensitive scalp, I would be mindful of this because it is um, acid based. But I really did like it. It has the regular like scent of Verbs products, which I'm not like a super fan of. Um, but I was excited to see this. This is two fluid ounces. It retails at Sephora for $20. Um, I'd pay 20 bucks for this. I really like the one from Jisoo from Sephora. They have a really nice like scalp serum. But I know you can get ones just from like the Inky List or um, what's the other one? The Ordinary that have similar ingredients, but I do like Verb as a brand. I was excited to see this and I don't think 20 bucks is like really that bad. Um, the next thing I picked was from Ace Beauté. This is their makeup setting spray. This looks an awful lot like Urban Decay's All Nighter with like the cursive and the packaging. Um, the second ingredient in this is denatured alcohol. Hate to see it. You hate to see it. Um, I would never put this on bare skin. Um, I'm sure it does a like pretty good job at sealing your makeup in, but I really hate seeing denatured alcohol in facial sprays. Um, this is 3.3 fluid ounces. It retails for $28. No. How much is the Urban Decay All Nighter? It can't be that far off. Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. It's probably around the same. It's 36. Okay. I'd pay the $10 extra and get the Urban Decay. I really like the setting sprays from Catrice. Um, they have their like all, they're not called all nighter. They, I forget what they're called, but like the $5 ones from Catrice are really good. Elf has a good one. Even Tarte's um, setting sprays are really good. $28 for denatured alcohol is not my favorite thing. This also has um, lavender flower water in here. So if you have like a sensitivity to essential oils, I would be, mindful of that um it's just not not my favorite ingredient list and 28 dollars is way too much for a formula like this and they're directly knocking off urban decay's all nighter with like the packaging um the next thing i picked out was from the brand lucky chick this is the lip and cheek multi-stick in the shade lucky days so here's the packaging i think it's pretty um this is really 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 cheap sounding but I did think this was cool. See that like marbling? That's awesome. So this retails for $20. 
it doesn't have any sort of like scent to it and it's this like bright bright kind of like purpley pink um it's definitely more of like a satin finish and it shears out to about here this retails for twenty dollars i feel like that's so much um for this i feel like this component is pretty similar to the summer fridays one the summer fridays feels a lot more kind of like luxurious and high end this one just feels cheap so 20 bucks for this no uh, if you're looking for a really good multi-stick i do love the summer fridays if you're willing to pay that price point um elf has some multi-sticks that are really really good um pretty much any cream blush stick you can use on your lips as well so this i just think for 20 bucks is a lot especially with that cheapo packaging um and then these are the two products they picked for me the first one is from Rhode Isle. It's their Vitamin C Brightening Cleanser. I have never used anything from this brand. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like I saw this on like QVC a bunch. Maybe this is like, I think it's one of those QVC brands. It didn't come in a box. It just came like this. Um, the top is sealed on though. Um, ingredient wise, I really didn't see anything too crazy. Um, orange fruit extract is pretty high up on the list, which can be abrasive. Um, there is lactic acid in here, so if you have sensitive skin, I'd be mindful of that. Pineapple fruit extract can be super like irritating to the skin and like pretty exfoliating as well. Um, and then fragrance is, um, I believe I saw fragrance. Yep, fragrance is pretty high up here on the ingredient list as well. Um, I would just be mindful if you're going to use this. Um, I don't have sensitive skin at all, so I'm going to give this a try, but don't love the fragrance. Don't love the super uh, abrasive um, essential oil type ingredients. This retails for $49. Don't pay 50 bucks for a cleanser, guys. Don't ever do that. I've been using, I'm about halfway through the e.l.f. one, the Hello Holy Hydration or something like that cleanser. I really, really like that one. It's like nine bucks. Um, Tarte's cleansers are really great. Um, there are so many other cleansers on the market that are better than a $50 one with fragrance and like pretty irritating ingredients in it. Don't ever pay 50 bucks for a cleanser. And if you guys ever need like a recommendation for anything in any category, let me know. I've worked at Sephora for like five years. Um, so I could definitely guide you in the right way, especially like with a financial decision, such as like, if you got 50 bucks to spend, don't spend it on that. That was awful. Speaking of awful prices, this is the Kat Berkey Silk Protein Primer. So, they are quality, effective skincare products using applied nutritional medicine. They're formulated with nu nutrient-dense ingredients. And, okay, so this is a sat satiny, airy, cushiony, cushioning primer. So they say, hyaluronic acid, silk amino acid, rosehip seed oil, grapefruit seed oil, and the KB5 complex. I hate when like brands are using like their own mix of ingredients that they've like licensed and they're like, oh, this is super fancy. Um, it's special. This is plastic, I believe. No, it might be glass. Glass. This is glass. That's nice. Um, ingredient wise, we have um, Arnica flower extract is at the top of the list. We've got lavender extract. Again, be mindful of that if you have sensitive skin. Sunflower seed oil, chamomile extract. That's nice. Um, there's some silicones in here. Niacinamide. Zinc oxide. I don't see an SPF listed on here at all. thought that was interesting. Grapefruit seed. Jojoba seed oil is nice. Shea butter. Be mindful of that if you have an allergy. Avocado oil. Um glycerin glycerin the ingredients aren't bad i don't think that this is anything revolutionary i think it's like a nice kind of skin carry product with glycerin in it so it's going to help pull moisture out of the air throughout the day and put it back into your skin um so it's it, it's a nice primer formula i guess um this retails one fluid ounce of this product is 54 dollars 54 dollars for one ounce of product. Um, and it looks like it's like one of those glass bottles that like has a little divot kind of inside. So it's not full up all the way. This part of the top is really, really cheap. Um, but it's nice that it's in a glass bottle, $54. 
Um, I can give you a whole slew of primers that I recommend um, that are cheaper than this and that have nice skincare type ingredients. But um, I don't think this is bad. I really don't think this is bad. Um, they say you can use it alone or before foundation. I think either one would be fine. Um, it's recyclable. That's great. 54 bucks. Um, and I've never even heard of this brand. Where do they sell this? Where do you buy Cat, what is it, Cat Berkey? It didn't show up on the Google. Cat Berkey. They are clean and vegan. Her early career was a healthcare attorney. Store locator. Where can you buy this? You can purchase this at Bloomingdale's Cosmetica Emporium, wherever that is. Dillard's. Okay, this is interesting. Um, assorted malls. Interesting. Okay. That is good to know. Um, a lot of places overseas. Okay. And Saks Fifth Avenue. So this is a higher end product. That's interesting. I wonder how it weaseled its way into a boxy charm. All right, so that's what they picked for me and what I got, and I got two add-ons this time. This is the Toy Factory Serum Concealer. I got it in the shade F2, and you might be thinking that's really small, because it is. It's a deluxe sample size. Um, I paid $3.50 for it. They say it's a niacinamide-enriched concealer, lightweight, buildable, full coverage. I'm excited to give this a try. It's so small. <laughs> um, but yeah, I did get the shade F2 and I think it'll be fine. It's um, a six, six milliliter sample. Um, I am excited to try it out and um, I plan on keeping it like in my purse. So then if I need to touch up my makeup throughout the day. Um, yeah, I paid $3.50 for it. The full size, which comes in a wand tube, like a traditional concealer, retails on the website for $30. $30 for a concealer. I've noticed that this brand is really expensive. Have you, have you guys noticed that too? Everything I've got from this brand, I think this is probably like the third product I've gotten from them, has been like expensive, like retail price. Um, so I was happy to pay $3.50 for it. And then this last one I got was very exciting. Um, I saw this on Sephora a while ago, I feel like, and I just never picked it up and then it sold out. And now I've got it. This is the Lip and Pop Edition. It's a collaboration between the band BTS, which um, to my knowledge is a K-pop group, um, and Amore Pacific, which also to my knowledge owns Laneige. So like Laneige lip sleeping mask, the whole hype around them. I think Amore Pacific owns Laneige or the other way around, but this is Amore Pacific's branding. So this is the their lip sleeping mask three piece set. So inside you get three, these are not full size um, of the lip sleeping masks. So these are the sizes. They are not the as small as like the, like the little sample sizes that you can get um, at Sephora, but they're not like the big full size. They're kind of like right in the middle. So it came with three kind of flavors. The first one is called um, Permission to Dance and it is a peach iced tea flavor. I really enjoy that. The next one is called Dynamite and it is a sweet candy scent, which I haven't um, sniffed this one yet. Oh, it smells good. I usually don't like stuff like that, but um, it's good. And then this one I'm passing on to my friend Cynthia immediately. This is the butter flavor. Um, it's so gross to me. It smells like buttered popcorn. So if you're into that kind of thing, um, I think this, I don't think that they sell any of these flavors um, like separately, but the box that came in was pretty cool. Um, this retailed when it was at Sephora for $35 and I paid 12 for it. So I'm more than happy to pay $12 for two lip sleeping masks from Laneige slash Amore Pacific. Um, and they're decent sizes too. It does take a while to go through these, but I will be passing on the butter one as soon as I see Cynthia um, in a couple of days. So that's what I got this month. Um, like I said, I didn't purchase anything from the drop shop. I keep watching. They add more things throughout the month 
um, or like the time of the sale. Um, I feel like I'm getting emails or like notifications every day of like, oh, new products are added. These are on sale. Um, and what I recommend is keep things in your cart. So for example, I was, I had my eye on the um, Kevin Aquan concealers. They were 15 bucks. I was like, that's kind of a lot. But then I checked yesterday and now they're nine. So if you have something that you like that you think is just a little bit like too expensive or like overpriced, wait on it a little bit, wait a couple days, go back and check, see if it's still there and if it's got gotten marked down. So as always, let me know what you guys got in your boxes. I have two exciting videos coming up. I have one with my toddler room makeover and then I have another one I'm working on of like how I prep for guests. Um, I hosted a pretty large gathering a couple weeks ago. So um, I have both of those videos that I'm working on. Those are gonna be next. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one, bye.